Natural Selection and Speciation Modes of Natural Selection There are three modes of natural selection. Stabilizing Selection, Disruptive Selection, and Directional Selection. Stabilizing Selection Stabilizing selection favors intermediate variations and reduces variation in a population. For example, human birth weight. Medium-sized babies are the healthiest. Small babies get sick and lose heat easily, while large babies are difficult to deliver. Directional selection. Directional selection favors one of the extreme variants in a population and occurs when there is an environmental change or when individuals of a population migrate to a different environment. For example, the peppered moths. On dark tree bark, there's natural selection that favors dark over light colored moths. Disruptive selection and speciation. Disruptive selection favors the extreme and leads to increased variation. Speciation occurs when this variation is so great that a new species is created. It results in the diversity of life forms. For example, bird seed and beak size. If only small and large seeds are available, natural selection favors members of the population with extremely small or large beaks. Species Characteristics There are two main characteristics that describe members of a species. Morphological Members of a species have a similar structure and appearance. Biological The members can interbreed and produce viable, fertile offspring. A horse can breed with a donkey and produce a non-fertile mule. A horse and a donkey are in different species. A horse has 64 chromosomes and a donkey has 62. The mule inherits 32 horse chromosomes and 31 donkey chromosomes for a total of 61. This makes it difficult, if not impossible, to breed. Gradualism and Punctuated Equilibrium Most evolution is gradual, taking hundreds of thousands or millions of years to occur, known as gradualism. But in some cases, new species can appear or disappear suddenly. This type of evolution is known as punctuated equilibrium. The sudden appearance or disappearance may not uh, be as sudden as thought. Speciation may have occurred during time periods too short to be distinguished in the fossil layers. Speciation Members of the same species share a common set of genes called a gene pool. This means genetic change in one individual can spread through the population by interbreeding. Speciation is when a new species forms when members of a population becoming reproductively separated from one another until genes can no longer flow between them. Causes of Speciation Populations become reproductively isolated from one another so that genes cannot flow between them in the following ways. Allopatric speciation, also known as geographic speciation, or isolation or vicariance. Sympatric speciation Allopatric speciation. Allopatric speciation occurs when a population splits into two populations due to some type of geographic barrier. Since the two groups of the original population have become isolated from one another, gene flow between the two is interrupted. The original gene pool has been divided into two separate gene pools. The two gene pools each change independently of each other and each population becomes a new species. Geographic Isolation Geographic isolation occurs when two populations are separated by geographic barriers, like mountains or bodies of water. In the summer of 1995, at least 15 iguanas survived Hurricane Marilyn on a raft of uprooted trees, but left their home. They rode the high seas for a month before colonizing the Caribbean island Anguilla. These few individuals were perhaps the first of their species, Iguana Iguana, to land there. A geological barrier has been placed between members of the population that stayed behind and the ones that landed on Anguilla. No mating can occur between the separated populations. As new mutations occur in each separate population, they will become genetically different. Sympatric speciation. In sympatric speciation, there is no geographic barrier that separated a population. Therefore, the members of a population remain in contact with one another. Speciation evolves due to factors other than geography. Four types will be shown. Behavioral isolation, temporal isolation, mechanical isolation, and gametic isolation. Behavioral isolation. 
Behavioral isolation occurs when two populations are capable of interbreeding but have behaviors that prevent mating. Some species of crickets are physically identical, but can be distinguished by the fact that females will only respond to the mating songs of males of their own species. Males of other species are ignored. Flies on an island. A population of fruit flies on an island has three food sources, mangoes, oranges, and bananas, and is an example of behavioral isolation. Each fly shows a preference for one of the three foods. Because of this, flies that like bananas spend most of their time with other flies that have that preference. If these flies only breed with those who prefer the same fruit, whether mango, orange, or banana, they could eventually lead to a new species, even if they share the same island due to behavioral isolation. Temporal isolation. Temporal isolation occurs when two different populations mate at different times. Two populations of plants may produce flowers in different seasons, making mating between the populations impossible. For example, winter pansies and summer pansies. There is a season. A mutation causes a few members of a flower plant population to bloom a month after the rest of the population. Flowers are responsible for producing the sexual cells of these plants. This is temporal isolation. Since these plants are producing gametes after the majority of their population, they have become isolated and will not be able to mix their genes with them. Over time, they can become their own species. Mechanical isolation. Mechanical isolation occurs when the sexual organs between members of closely related yet different species do not fit together. The closely related species genotypes would drift further apart as their genes will not mix. This is an evolutionary advantage as breeding between different species can result in offspring sterility. The offspring would not pass on their genes, but would consume resources. For some different and physically incompatible species of fruit flies, interbreeding can result in injury or death. Bush babies. There are 20 different species of bush babies, also called galagos, in Africa. Each species has different genitalia so they cannot mate with each other. The differences are so great that they won't produce any offspring. Gametic Isolation Various organisms such as sea creatures, mosses, ferns, and invertebrates release their sperm and eggs into the environment. Species other than their own will not react to the sperm and eggs. Therefore, no zygotes will be produced. The genes will not be shared between the different populations. If the sperm from one species enters the female reproductive tract of a different species, they will be destroyed in the tract. Also, different species' eggs have different receptors on them so that the sperm from another species cannot enter the egg. Giant Clams Giant clams reproduce by ejecting sperm and eggs into the open water in hopes that they will find each other. A mutation causes the sperm of some to reduce their ability to couple with eggs of their species. This could lead to the development of a new species as only certain individuals will remain in the original gene pool. In addition, other marine animals of different species will also eject their gametes into the water. Gametes from different species will not combine with each other to produce zygotes. Prezygotic Barriers The previous barriers to reproduction are considered prezygotic since they prevent a zygote from forming. A zygote is the cell that is produced by the combination of sperm and egg. The barriers prevent the production of a fertilized egg. Postzygotic barriers. Postzygotic barriers occur after fertilization. A zygote is formed, but the offspring are infertile or unviable. These barriers are the final stages of gene pool isolations. The genetic makeup of the isolated groups becomes so different that if an attempt at breeding is made, the genetics prevent a viable offspring from being produced. Postzygotic barriers. The genes of the different parent species may interact and impair development of the hybrid offspring. Most of the hybrids do not complete development, but those that do are very frail. Even if strong offspring are produced, they may be sterile. If the parental chromosome number is different in the two parents, the offspring will not produce normal gametes and cannot compete with either of the parental species. Genes cannot flow freely between the species. Postzygotic barriers. The horse and the donkey are different species. 
When they mate, they produce strong offspring mules. But mules are sterile and cannot produce offspring.